Hi, Casper. Just how is the feeling to beat him at last? It's uh, fantastic. Um, you know, it's uh, in my eyes one of the all-time players to try to beat, uh, and today I was able to do it. Something I can remember for for the rest of my life, and um, tell hopefully my kids in the future and my grandkids uh, when I'm getting older that you know I, I beat Novak one time at least, and. Um, yeah, um, it, it's a fantastic feeling. Uh, obviously, I hope I can play more times uh, before, um, you know, no one knows how long he plans to play for, but obviously he's getting older, but uh, he's still physically in good shape and playing fantastic tennis, but it's always fun to play against him because, you know, it's one of the toughest challenge um, in our sport. So. Uh, I'm very super proud and happy to overcome it today. Yes, <clears throat> yesterday you told me maybe you, you would be dreaming about a tactic yeah. during the night. Yeah. Do you think it was a tactic win today, or not sure? I mean, many things come into play when you play a tennis match, and today, obviously, I've played a few more matches on clay than him this year already. Uh, he hasn't played on clay since Roland Garros last year, so I mean, it's. Um, He's maybe coming into the tournament a bit more rusty. A um, few adjustments in his team, and uh, there are many things that uh, uh, can be a reason why I was able to win today. Uh, when it, in terms of the game, it's a few points here and there. I mean, I started great. I was up two breaks in the first set, and then he kind of came back and showed why he's <laughs> he's the best, and was toying with me, drop shot, moving me around, and I didn't really have any chance to play, and then. Third set, it's open. Uh, if you get a good start, like I did, it's a good good thing. And then he came back, and then the last game is just told myself, you know, try to go for it if you have the chance. And uh, he did a few unforced errors, luckily for me. He's not doing his best start of a season, for for sure. Yeah. Uh, did you see some differences in his game, in in how you felt on court in, in front of him? Yeah, a little bit. Obviously, Novak is Novak, and uh, he's human. Uh, sometimes it doesn't seem like it, but he is um, like everyone else. But I think what really motivated me and helped me a bit today was maybe that I thought about, you know, he lost the match in Indian Wells to uh, Luca Nardi, and he showed there that uh, he is also vulnerable sometimes, not many times uh, in a year, but a few days here and there he's possible to beat. Um, and luckily for me, I was able to think about those thoughts in the, la in the end of the third set and um, take advantage of it, believing more in myself that I could beat him now than before. And um, because, you know, he didn't have that perfect record so far this year, and uh, that kind of is how tennis works, fine balance. If you see that someone has done really well in the beginning of the year, it's tough to play them because you're expecting, wow, this guy is almost impossible to beat. And then, But if you see that many or other players have beaten him before, you always be, you believe a bit more in yourself also. Yes, um, congratulations. Thank you. Um, tomorrow you will try to claim your first um, Master 1000 um, title yeah. against a player who, like you, excels on, on clay. How, mm -hmm. how do you, what do you expect in that final? Um, pff, tough match. Uh, Stefanos is a fantastic player on all surfaces, but clay, I think he has had more success in his career so far. And uh, he won here two times, so obviously he's feeling comfortable here. I think he lives here in Mon Monaco, so... Uh, I guess sort of a home home tournament for him. Um, the last six, seven, eight months has not been, I think, perfect for him. And uh, he fell out of the top ten and a uh, few things. Maybe he will be back now. I'm not sure after this week. But uh, he's uh, been a steady top ten, top five player for many years already. And uh, he has always going to be a dangerous player. And seems like he's back in good shape. So I'm going to have to expect, you know, the best version of uh, Stefanos tomorrow.